Hi everyone, I'm Svetlin Naku from Softunique Global. Welcome to another episode from my Dev Concept series. In this one, I will talk about URLs, the location address in the web browser. I will explain everything you need to know about URLs from a software developer perspective. What's inside an URL, how it is used, and its parts, the protocol, host, port, path, query string and fragment, how to use them, and the URL encoding rules and other details. If you like this video, please give us a thumb up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. All right, let's get into the video lesson. Web browsers and other apps use URL addresses to access websites and, web and server site resources from the web. Now it's time to explain in greater detail the structure of, of URL addresses and their parts, the protocol identifier, the host or IP address, the port number, the resource path, the query string and others. Uniform Resource Locator URL is an essential part of the World Wide Web technology and developers need to know very well their structure and functionality. Let's learn more about URLs. Uniform Resource Locator URL identifiers are unique addresses in Internet used to identify resources, websites and documents on the web. The URL is what we type in the browser uh, address bar. For example, https calm slash slash softunit.org. The URL string contains the hostname and the path to the resource and in some cases in cat, it can include more elements like port and query string. The URL address has the following form uh, like it is shown on the, on the slide. HTTP column slash slash mysite.com column 8080 slash demo slash index.php question mark id equal 27 ampersand one key kios n hash lectures. Uh, in this example, the URL uses the HTTP protocol. The host name is mysite.com. Uh, the connection port is 8080. The resource path is slash demo slash index.php. The query string is question mark ID equals 27 and one equals to n and the fragment is hash lectures. These are the parts of the URL. Let's discuss them in detail. The network protocol is the protocol used to talk to the server. It can be HTTP, HTTPS, FTP, SFTP, uh, RTMP, RTMPS or other. All these are protocols used to access remote resources such as files, documents and streaming media. Modern websites use HTTPS, which is HTTP over a secure encrypted channel. Older websites use plain HTTP. The next part of the URL is the host. Some examples are softunit.org, mail.google.com, static.xx.fbcdn.net subdomain, uh, 127.0.0.1 IP address, web, uh, hostname in the local network, column, column 1 uh, IPv6 address. The host is the server name or IP address which runs the server software uh, used to access the specified resource, typically the web server. Uh, the host together with the port define the endpoint for establishing the connection with the web server. The next part of the URL is the port number. Uh, if not specified, the default port for HTTP protocol is 80 and for the HTTPS protocol is 443. Um, the port number is an integer number in the range from 0 to 65,000 
535. The port comes from the underlying TCP protocol, which operates using port numbers. The next part of the URL is the path uh, of the resource at the server. Here are some examples, slash, slash forum, slash gallery, slash index.php, slash admin, uh, slash modules, uh, slash uh, forum, slash styles, dot, uh, slash forum, dot CSS. This is the path to the requested resource uh, relative to the server root. If we request a file from the web server, this will be the full path to the file relative to the server root folder. The query string is optional part of the URL which falls after the path. Example of um, query string is given on the slide. Question mark ID equals to 27 ampersand wang equals to en. The query string holds parameters passed in the URL. It is separated from the path by the question mark symbol and each parameter has the form name equals to value and parameters are separated from each other with the ampersand symbol. The fragment uh, part is the last part of the URL, which is optional. It falls after the hash symbol. Uh, for example, the URL can end by uh, hash swites, which instructs the web browser to navigate to the section swites in the requested document after it is displayed in the browser. A rarely used URL format can also include authentication data. Uh, username and password, which is sent through the authorization HTTP header when the browser requests the specified in the URL resource. Example of such URL is uh, HTTP colon slash slash username colon password at example.com. This uh, syntax may be very convenient in some cases, but it holds the password as plain text and it can be easily compromised. Hackers sometimes use the authenticated URL syntax to mislead the users to visit a website and capture a fake website and capture their passwords. The query string in the URL contains data that is not part of the path structure. It encodes URL parameters, which may be sent by HTML forms using method equals get or can be carefully prepared by web developers who write code to perform the HTTP request. For example, let's take this URL. Uh, HTTP column slash slash example.com slash path to page question mark uh, name equals Tom ampersand color equals purple. The query string in this URL is question mark name equals Tom and color equals purple. purple. The query string is commonly used in searches and dynamic pages. For example, uh, this uh, URL uh, is a URL to a search 
string https uh, column slash slash knuckle.com slash question mark s equals book the query string uh, is the part of the url after the question mark symbol uh, and it is optional most URLs don't have a query string. Parameters in the query string have the uh, name equals value format. Names and values which hold special characters are URL encoded. This is a good example of what is a URL encoding. We shall learn about the URL encoding a bit later. Multiple parameters are separated by the ampersand uh, delimiter, like it is shown at the above example, uh, where the query string is question mark, name equals Tom, ampersand color equals purple. And this query string holds two pair of parameters name equals Tom and color equals purple. Sometimes the query string parameters need to hold special characters like the equals symbol or the question mark symbol. To maintain this, the query string needs character escaping, which means that some URLs, some characters some special characters are re replaced by sequences of other characters. This is called URL encoding. URLs are encoded according to the RFC uh, FC 1738 standard, which describes the uniform resource locators uh, or URLs. Normal URLs characters such as digits and 14 letters have no special meaning in the URL and are not encoded. Reserved URL characters uh, have special meaning in the URLs and are URL encoded uh, or uh, in order to be part of the URL without breaking it. Uh, the reserved characters are the most punctuation marks, uh, and many others. Some of them are shown on the slide. Reserved characters are escaped or URL encoded by using the so-called percent encoding, uh, which uses the percentage character uh, plus the hex code of the character uh, in its UTF-8 representation. Example of reserved character is the question mark, which is URL encoded as percent %3f. The space is also a reserved character in the URLs, and it can, can be URL encoded in two forms, as plus or as percent %20. Most non-letter and non-digit characters are escaped in the percent hex code format. Examples are given below. Uh, the space is encoded as percent twenty. The quote is encoded as percent two two. Uh, hedge is encoded as percent two three. Door is encoded as percent twenty four. And more examples. The percentage is encoded as percent %25, the ampersand is encoded as uh, percent %26, the Cyrillic letter ST is encoded as percent %D1, percent %89, and it consists of two hex codes in the UTF-8 char set. The Chinese letter I uh, WAF in Chinese is encoded as percent %E7, percent %88, percent %B1. 
A more interesting example is shown on the slide. Um, it combines Cyrillic letters, uh, Chinese letters and Latin letters and which after URL encoding takes the form shown on the screen. During the URL encoding each non-standard character uh, is converted to its corresponding UTF-8 bytes represented as hex digits with percentage as suffix. Following the concept of URL encoding, some valid and invalid URLs are shown as examples. At the screen, we can see, we can see some valid URLs. And now we can see some invalid URLs. At the first example, the space should be encoded as plus and the hash uh, symbol should be encoded as percent 23. At the second example, the Cyrillic letters should be encoded as it is shown here. Did you like this lesson? Do you want more? Join the learners community at softuni.org. Also, subscribe to my YouTube channel to get more free video tutorials on coding, dev concepts, software development and software technologies. Get access to more free dev lessons and free learning resources for developers and wannabe developers. Get free help from mentors and meet other learners in our uh, software developer community. And it's all free. Yes, it's free. So join now. Join at softuni.org. Meanwhile, you can check out my other videos from Dev Concept Series, where I explain and demonstrate many concepts and technologies from the software development profession. Goodbye. See you in my next video.